Hey guys, um, welcome back to Survival 101. Uh, we're down here in the basement. Um, just want to talk about how what is hydroponics and how it works and why is it better than soil and all that kind of st that kind of stuff. Um, this is Frank, by the way. Um, so let's talk about how it works. It's really simple, actually. Basically, that's a, a pump. We put the ping pong paddle on, which is when we take it off, it makes noise from the vibration. So we just took it off, put it on. Um, basically, you just it just uh, it pumps air into the system with the air stone, so it can separate and make bubbles. And um, you also have to put your nutrients. Um, you choose what kind of nutrients you want. Ours is ten five ten. If you're just wondering. Um, 10, 5, 10, and that's just nutrient levels and stuff like that. And you put that in, and the, what happens is uh, the roots go into the water where the nutrients are, and the the, um, the bubbles oxygenate the roots so they won't drown and um, that kind of stuff. And um, you also have your pH you got to worry about too. For lettuce, you kind of want to keep it around a 6.0 to 6.5, maybe 6.7. Um, and you get just adjusted by uh, if your pH is too high or too low, you just put some down or up to make it into the appropriate um, pH level you're looking for. And some people use that uh, test cube where you fill up a little tester cube and put like three drops of water and you shake it and figure out how pH is on the on the back of the thing with the colors. My easiest way, guys. Yeah, invest some money, of course. I only invested like 10 bucks on this. Oh, sorry about that. I invested only 10 bucks in this. It took about two weeks to come in. It came in from Japan. But, uh, let me tell you something. I bought it for eBay. Um, it will make your life a whole crap load easier if you're really serious about hydroponics. Basically, a pH meter. Simple. You just put in the water. About that way. And you just turn it on. And, uh, let it, let it go. And it's about 7.1. 7 .7 it's a little high. But, you know, you just pour some pH down and check at the end. But it really doesn't matter now because there's no roots in the water. Because these are just babies. And, uh, ooh, like in a couple of days, there should be roots coming out. Uh, I'm expecting the, the peppers to having roots soon. These guys have been like, here for a while, so. But they might slow down a little bit because of transplants and, um, that kind of stuff. Why is it faster? Hydroponics is a whole way faster, but it's more complicated. Now, like, pretty much in the summer, what you do, you, you, you buy a bag of soil, you put it in the ground, and, uh, you know, you get the peat moss and potting soil and uh, some fertilizer, maybe, that kind of stuff. Some rock dust, if you're interested. You just put that once. Here, yeah, check the pH daily or two days apart. Change the nutrients every two weeks. But I mean, you also got to take out the water, put new water in. That's a kind of a hassle. Because this is 18 gallon, and uh, it gets pretty heavy. <laughs> Sliding across the basement, and uh, you don't want to spill anything. And you also got to check the, adjust the pH and just make sure everything's working well. The, yeah, the lights are good and stuff. Um, the lights just by the way if you guys are running, are running on a timer uh, the timer starts at uh, 4 o'clock in the morning and ends at 10 at night and there's also like 10 minute breaks in there so so the light bulbs can cool down so every two hours there's a 10 minute break in between just to cool them down so from overheating don't want that to happen pretty expensive bulbs um, I think someone uh, put a comment or something about lowering them down a little bit yeah, that would be a good idea, but these guys are going to grow up, and uh, they're going to grow, so you don't want them too close. For now, yes, they, yes, you could. You could bring them down, but I have nowhere to put them, you know. This cardboard box right here, pretty much, was uh, the special spa space blanket stuff for reflection. So, when they grow, it'll be the perfect cut. So, um, if you guys are just wondering, what's this system doing back here? I already told you in another video, but I'll tell you again, um. This is the exactly the same system here, but just not operation yet. It's not working yet. 
um, if you're asking why, because uh, I don't personally, I don't think I'm ready for two systems. First, let me handle with one system because I'm a first time hydroponic grower. This is just for backup, you know, a little backup thing just made it a couple days ago. Um, I mean, I can start this up in one hour and this will be the same as this, but, you know, um, I decided just to go with one system. Get the feeling about it, get get the breeze, you know, get the flow, how it works. And about, I'm, I'm guessing around uh, April or March, uh, I'll fire up this baby too, so. And yes, these will be running through the summer. This, this is a year-round system right here. Year around. Um, this will be running year round. And those are the backup bulbs back there. Some backup bulbs, just in case if these fail. You need, you need bulbs, of course. Um, yep. So, we'll make updates weekly, of course. And, uh, Nick will make, we'll be making updates soon, I guess. And, uh, this is Survival 101 signing out. And, uh, have a good day. Uh, please. Please subscribe, comment, and rate if you have any time. I'm more interested in the comments just to read about if any questions or any suggestions or pretty much what you think about this. Is it crap or is it good? <laughs> um, please and uh, subscribe too when you're at it if you have time. <laughs> Thank you and have a, have a good day.